Have you ever wanted to browse a full website offline just like you are online without needing the internet? Maybe you're doing your research, building a portfolio, or you just want to keep a copy of your favorite site before it disappears. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three powerful methods to download any website for offline viewing step by step. So the first method will be a free software that will do this magic for you. The second method will be a free online tool. And the third method will be a lightweight Chrome extension that does the magic too as well. So whether you're a techie, a student, or you are just plain curious, this tutorial is for you. So make sure you stick around to the end because the method I'm going to show you here will blow your mind. As a matter of fact, the third method is so insane, you wonder why on earth you are just learning about this today. Now, this is just a quick disclaimer. Downloading or cloning website is only legal when done for personal, educational, archival, or for offline use with permission. Do not clone site for impersonation, plagiarism, or unethical commercial use. Respect copyright laws and always stay on the right side of the internet. That's cool. So now let's go. For method one, you use a software and that software is called HTTrack. So this method is best for people who want to have full control and also some advanced settings. To lay hand on this software, you just need to go to HTTrack.com. What you want to do on this website is to download and install this software. And once this is downloaded, you need to open this software and you need to come here, name your project, something like my favorite blog or my downloaded website, whatever it is you want to call it is fine. You can also choose a folder where you want this to be saved and also in the web address URL section, just paste the link of the website you want to download, click the next button and then hit the finish button, HTTrack will start copying the entire site to your local computer. Pro tip here before I leave this method, you can go to settings, you can scan the rules to control what you want to get downloaded. Like images, CSS, script, etc. I just love it because it gives you full control. While this is downloading our website offline, let's go to our second method, which is to use this website called toolbox.com website copier. You can check the video description to see a link to this or check the pinned comment to see a link to this tool. This tool is perfect for quick copies without installing anything. So once you get to this website here, you want to paste your URL here, you can also come to the select tab. You can see that you can download a one page website literally for free, up to 50 pages for free. For over 50 pages, you would definitely need to pay for that. You need to use the recapture here to verify that you're not a robot. And then you need to click this button here to download this website. And now this is downloading our one page website and downloading our font as well. So this process will continue until our website is done downloading. In some few seconds, we can see that our website is done downloading from here. So I can just open this up to see the zip folder. And this is the zip folder here. I can just easily extract this. And that's it, that's done here. And before we open this up, let's just go to the third method so that when I'm done, I can just come and check all of them all together and see the results. To get started using this, apparently you want to go to your Chrome Web Store, search for resources saver, and everything you want to do from here is to click Add to Chrome, and then you have this extension super ready for you to use. And the next thing you want to do right now is to go to the website that you want to download for offline viewing, go to anywhere on the page, right click on that page, and come down here to inspect and this would open up your dev tool in your browser you don't need to worry you are not messing with any code here what you want to do from here is just come to your network section here click this arrow and you should be able to see an option here for resources saver you want to click on it and from here you just want to come to save all resources button and immediately you can see this is downloading into our browser super cool and awesome right this is done we can also open this up we have a zip file here as well so let's extract this and let's open this up 
And just like that, we have this extracted here. We can just easily come to the website URL, click on it, and then we, you can see here, we have our website super ready for us to use. And let's uh, peruse this website. Let's scroll down and let's see this. Super awesome. All the images, the CSS, everything super intact. So another thing we can do here is to click the menu to see that it is responsive. So when we click on this, you can see this, they are all responding to the page. So now let's uh, come back to uh, the website that was downloaded for us using Toolsbug. So from here, let's also open the index.html and voila, that's also I've downloaded this website for us for offline view. Let's peruse this, you can see this. This is super, super, super awesome. So let's also check the menu to see that everything is responding. As you can see this, this is super cool. And finally, let's come back here to HD track. As you can see from here, this mirroring operation is complete. So let's come here and let's browse our mirrored website. And you can see that is open up in our browser too as well. And we have our website here in our browser, super ready for us to use. Perusing the page right now, we can see that we have all of the page super, super intact. Everything working as should. Let's also check the menu here to see that the menu too as well is working. And as you can see here, everything working super cool and awesome. So before I end this tutorial, I want you to keep this in mind. It will be fair for me to mention this, that if you're using the third method, which is the Chrome extension, it works best when you are trying to download a single page because it downloads page by page. So if you're trying to download a website that has three, four, five or more pages, you may want to skip this method and try the first and the second method. But if you're trying to download a one page website, just like I did, in this tutorial then that chrome extension will work perfectly for you so there you have it three super easy ways for you to download any website offline for HD track, you have full control for toolsburg it's quick and easy you can do that online for resources saver is a click and go chrome extension it clones pages for you not the entire website let me know in the comment which method you prefer and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more awesome web tutorials, automations and tech hacks like this on this channel. I will see you in another one and until then, take care.